What's good gamers? Welcome back to Fizzy MTG guys. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Dino Might. Are you guys excited for this one? I am. I do love me some dinos. It's a very simple and uh, straightforward deck. Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. Battle decks are ready to play 60 card deck. Uh... The 60 card decks built around a theme or archetype. It took a comet to defeat the dinosaurs the first time, so what chance does your opponent have? Dino Might is an aggro red green ramp deck that crushes unsuspecting players beneath its massive feet. Quickly play huge dinosaurs and start stomping everything in your path. <laughs> I love it. Gotta love the flavor. Pretty sick. All right, let's see. First of all, we've got an elf. Okay, so maybe the uh, maybe the tokens are not necessarily specific to being good with the deck. I don't know. We'll see if we spawn any elves with anything in the deck. Also, we have a beast token. So, interessant. Very nice. Let's uh, get all this uh, off the field here. And we'll get ourselves zoomed on in here in just a second. All right. Here is the deck. Let's go ahead. Let's find uh, a good little zoomy spot here. Let's say there. Come on. Come on. Let's get that decent focus there. Rugged Highlands. Rugged Highlands enters the battlefield. Tap when Rugged Highlands enters the battlefield. You gain one life. And we've got one, two, three, four. And then we got a Gruel Guildgate enters the battlefield. Tapped. One, two, three, four. And that's a total of eight so far. And then we've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's what I thought. We've got basically eight of everything. Eight dual lands. We got eight uh, mountains and then eight forests. Now, this card, a buddy of mine really likes this card, and it's really easy to see why. This is a really good card. Savage Smash. Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. It fights target creature you don't control. Uh, which means each deals damage to or each deals damage equal to its power to the other. Uh, this can be really good removal, and it doesn't. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't tap your creature. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments if I'm incorrect about this because I do not know. Don't take my word for it. I'm still learning, but I'm pretty sure this is not. You don't enter combat. They just deal damage to each other equal to their own power, so it doesn't tap the creature. It's just really good potential removal. Thunder Herd Migration. As an additional cost to cast this spell, reveal a dinosaur card from your hand or pay one. Search your library for a basic land. Put it into your... Oh, sorry. Not put it in... Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. My bad. We got two of those. Three of those. Uh, at least so far. Savage Smash. Got another one of those. We got a Drowsing Pteranodon. It's got Defender. As long as you control a creature with power four or greater, Drowsing Pteranodon can attack as though it didn't have Defender, which is very good. Another Savage Smash. Burning Sun's Avatar. This is a sick card. I love this. It is a six drop, six, six. When Burning Sun's Avatar enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to target opponent and three damage to up to one target creature. That is can be devastating and i love it we got a thundering spine back other dinosaurs you control get plus one plus one uh play five sorry pay five tap pay five in the green <laughs> my bad <laughs> create a three three green dinosaur creature token with trample uh this is cool it's got a little blue in there but i mean there's no blue in this deck so it's not necessary but still you can do blue or green which is really cool legendary creature dinosaur hippo companion uh your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost of three or greater and land cards that's like if you wanted to use this as companion but that's not what this deck is about it's just using its for its effect when Karuga, the Macro Sage, enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with a converted mana cost of three or greater, which is very, very nice. Frenzied Raptor, very cool, just a vanilla, 4-2 for three, not bad. Humble Naturalist, I love this card too, very good. You can tap it to add one mana of any color, uh, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. So, really good. Ravenous Daggertooth. This guy enraged. Whenever it deals damage... Oh, wait, sorry. Whenever Ravenous Daggertooth is dealt damage, you gain two life. So, yeah. Very useful. Prey Upon. This is basically that other card, but in one mana, and it doesn't buff it. Uh, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Love this card. Very useful. Ancient uh, Brontodon. Just a vanilla 9-9 nine -nine for 8. Not bad. 
a uh, hunter's prowess until the end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. That can be very useful. Drowsing Tyranidon. Uh, we've already read that. It's really cool. Another humble naturalist. Another humble naturalist. Knight of the Stampede. This, one of my buddies, like, absolutely loves this card. And why wouldn't you? It's freaking amazing. Dinosaur spells you cast cost two less to cast. That is freaking insane. That would make this guy a one drop. A four two one drop. That is crazy. And uh, this boy, uh, it can only get rid of generic mana, so it would still cost two, but still not bad at all. Uh, pay one, sacrifice, thrashing, brontodon, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, frenzied raptor would be just a one drop. Another thunderherd migration, another thrashing brontodon, another savage smash, another frenzied raptor, another prey upon, another burning sun's avatar. This boy would be a four drop. Just think about that. Four drop deals three damage to opponent and three damage to a creature. Uh, and it's a six six. A uh, hello. That's insane. Humble Naturalist. Very good. Hunt the Weak. This is a really interesting card, too. Uh, put a woman counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights target creature you don't control. Uh, so, yeah. It's just, again, buff that boy and make that boy attack. And it's four mana. It's not as good as Simon Smash, but it's still pretty good. There's a couple of them. Another Ravenous Dagger Tooth. This would be a one drop as well. Just want to put that out there. Another Burning Sun's Avatar. And then we got a Crested Herd Collar. Uh, trample. When a Crested Herd Collar enters the battlefield, create a 3 3 green dinosaur creature. Talk of a trample. And another Thrashing Brontodon, baby. And that's the deck. I know this was a quick one. But, uh, you know, this deck is, is pretty quick. That's that what it do, though. That what this deck do, it's sick as heck. We love it. It got dinos. It got all the cool stuff. Uh, it's very fun. And just, again, Savage Smash, one of the best cards in the deck. And then, obviously, good old... Wait, what was it? Oh, was that Karuga right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burning Sun's Avatar. This is one of the, uh, my favorite dinosaur cards. And, uh, yeah, and, and there are a, there is a version of this deck that doesn't have that. It's got Verdant Sun Avatars instead, which is Green Dino. Uh, and it performs just as well, if not better. It's They're both... Uh, very interesting. It just really like I, I like to do. Maybe on this channel at some point we'll do a Dino deck versus Dino deck. Me versus my buddies. Uh, the same deck, same Dino might, but there's some minor changes, and you guys can see uh, kind of the interesting thing. Even if two of you wanted to buy the same deck, that doesn't necessarily guarantee they're going to be exactly the same. Now ours were spaced apart when we bought them. So that could have that could play a factor in the availability of cards that the shop has and all that kind of stuff. I don't really know, but I know that it's still one of our favorite uh, decks that we like to use. So maybe there'll be a video of that on the channel at some point whenever I get a better setup to where I can actually record like duels, some gameplay, some good old, you know, Planeswalker versus Planeswalker. But until that happens... Uh, you guys are going to get this kind of stuff and some challenges and maybe some other interesting things. If you guys can come up with some video ideas down in the comments, brainstorm some stuff maybe you'd like to see. And uh, I will at the very least consider it because, uh, again, I, I, wanna, I want this channel to be something that you guys can look to for information and fun and just, you know, to have a good time. So, uh, yeah, but that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing, all that good junk. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. Yeah. Dinos, baby. They nice.